Oh my god. Oh! Yeah. Ah! What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy and welcome back to another video. As you guys know, we love Wish, but we've been running into a few difficulties when it comes to getting items delivered on time. So today we're switching over to Amazon because uh, they have Amazon Prime and I can get stuff quickly. I need things quickly right now, okay? Plus we haven't done enough videos on Amazon. So today we're gonna be spending approximately, give or take, around a thousand dollars on the weirdest tech we can possibly find. Weird, cool, random, whatever you wanna call it. That's what we're gonna be doing. I'm excited to see what we can find because as you guys know, we find some weird stuff on Wish and I wanna compare. What can we find on Amazon? All right, I'm gonna just type in weird tech. That, we'll see what comes up. An iPhone fixing toolkit, that's kind of cool. A drone, maybe we gotta go to the depths. I'm just seeing like, like a headphones and a keyboard. That's not, what's weird about that, okay? Okay, all right, I found something. This is, oh my God, this is not cheap, but it's prime, so it comes quick. Live Scribe APX0008 two gigabyte echo smart pen. Record everything you write and hear so you'll never miss a word. Okay, replay your meetings or lectures. You know what, I've, I've seen enough. Add that baby to the cart. Oh my God, 200 bucks. Is this gonna be a buying the most expensive tech on Amazon? I don't, I don't know. Anyways, I'm just gonna buy it. If you guys wanna see that, smash the like button. Okay, I found something else. We have a power up smartphone controlled Bluetooth paper airplane kit for paper airplanes. As you guys can see, it's like a, I guess it's a red, I think it's, that's paper. Looks like there's something on the front with a little motor on the back. I guess you can connect it to your phone and maybe control, can you control it? It says remote controlled paper airplane. That would be a, I mean, this isn't cheap. This is $69. It better be a vibe because a regular paper airplane is 0 0.05 cents, whatever the cost of a piece of paper is. Obviously there's a pretty extreme markup here, but you're getting some tech. Maybe it'll make it better. It'll make it more aerodynamic. It'll make it fly further, but it'll also protect it so it doesn't break as quickly. These are all questions and we're gonna find out because we're adding this to the cart. Okay, these look like a vibe. As you guys know, I've been trying to find some interesting electric vehicles that we can have in the office so that I can fly around the office. And so far it hasn't been going well. If you guys watched the most recent Wish video, we got what looks like a ripstick, but a trash version of it. And I wasn't able to use it at all. These look a little easier. Razor Turbo Jets electric heel wheels. So they're like Heelys, if you guys know what Heelys are, but they're electric. So maybe you go a little bit faster. You can just attach them to any pair of shoes, which is potentially a big vibe, a hundred bucks. So again, not cheap. This is really feeling like just an expensive Amazon tech video, but we do have a lot of money to spend. And I guess, I guess we're spending, we're spending it. I, why, why do I do this? But you know what? I think I'm going to switch things up. Normally you guys see everything I buy before we do the unboxing. So you know what's coming, but this time, I'm gonna leave you guys with a little bit of a cliffhanger. You guys saw three items. We've got a bunch more that I'm gonna order and I'm not gonna tell you what they are. You're just gonna see when everything comes in. I'll see you then. Ladies and gentlemen, our items have arrived and I'm excited to check these bad boys out. Let's see what we got first. We got the Echo Smart Pen. What is this again? Never miss a word. Echo Smart Pens remember so you don't have to. Record everything you write and hear together or separately. Tap anywhere on your notes to replay the audio. Oh, oh, it even has a pen. Like it is a pen. It's a real ass pen. I don't know why I didn't realize that. Don't, don't, don't look at me like that, Jay. We got an extra pen. I, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it does come with a pad though. The starter notebook. Okay, so this is the same thing as the rocket book that we got from Kickstarter, if you guys remember that video. But this one has like stuff built in. This is a combo thing. You can write and then you can... Man, I'm mad confused. Like, I really don't get it. That's the one thing about buying weird tech. There's a learning curve that I'm like, wait, so how, huh? Who, how, when, where? How long do I have to spend to figure this out? I don't like that. Let, let's, let's just try writing, right? That's the first test. Yeah, it has ink. Guess what I wrote? Yeah. <laughs> you know me well. <laughs> I'm such a simple person. <laughs> oh, maybe I should turn this on. Time not set. I don't care about the time. To record audio, tap the record button in your notebook. Oh, it's like that. Okay, pause. That shit really works. Volume. Volume. It records audio and it records what you write. So you could be in class, right? You know, you're taking your notes or you forget to say something or your teacher's lecturing and it's just recording the whole thing. So if you miss your notes, you can bing, bang, boom, combine them together. How do I play it? Play back. Tap your handwritten note to hear the audio. Okay, okay, okay. Record. J is old AF. Stop. Oh, it's where you tap. 
That's kind of crazy. So if I tap just at the AF, it knows and only plays the end. Yo, this is intense. I would never use this, but it's still really cool. <laughs> so that's not the point, okay? It's weird tech for a reason, all right, guys? Okay, I think this is the, the use for this because I don't know if this goes on your computer the same way the Rocket Book does. I think what you do is while you're writing, if you have like a little tidbit of added information you want to add, you know, for example, J is old as f Put a little star beside it and then down here you would put the actual age 69 and then i don't know why he's laughing so i would say that jay is actually 69 and then it would say it, it would say it all together did that make sense are you guys following i think that's kind of cool don't think i would ever use it maybe there's more functionality that i'm too lazy to look into right now but let me know what you guys think of the echo smart pen in the comment section down below i'm gonna give this a uh, six out of ten lower higher okay fine fine seven i can't give it more than a seven next item Ooh, it's a keyboard this is like some old school typewriter keyboard this is wavy oh i know jay loves that sound because he's so old this is what he learned how to type on i'm not even joking that's the crazy like this time is actually serious this is satisfying bring 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 that mic in real close yeah asmr <laughs> This is sick. This is really sick. I will use this. It's highlighting my typing skills. If you guys don't know, I'm kind of wavy with the typing. Oh, it feels good. Just, just touch it. Oh, he just busted. I see that. <laughs> this is this is a nine. I don't give tens. This is a nine. This is a nine us. Oh, peep this. Works like a charm. Got all that RGB vibes. I actually almost prefer it without the RGB. Like I like it, but I wish it was, I liked it when it was clean without the colors, but it's still wavy. Like, you know, oh. go in here, pull up some, uh, some good old it's your boy videos. I need to type more. Oh, I want to like write a novel now. Did JK Rowling have one of these? Is that why she wrote <laughs> Harry Potter? I would understand it more. What are we doing? <laughs> Next item. Something else for us to break our legs on. We've got the Razer foot activated control. I think this is like uh, wheelies, those yeah, shoes, yeah. but it says turbo jets, an electric heel wheel. I'm liking this video. This is fun. We should do this more often. Smash the like button, guys. We're getting some cool stuff. Maybe some more giveaways coming. I feel like these are things you guys would actually want. We should do more stuff on Amazon. I feel like Amazon's got some pretty interesting products, guys. Stop! Important notice. Before first use, charge the battery for at least four hours. <laughs> I really thought it was gonna be something big. All right, let's put them on. All right, so does kind of look like I'm just wearing heels right now, but we've got them attached. Oh my God. <laughs> it like starts to pick up steam. I'm so old. <laughs> Come on, you got this, you got this. Oh. Hey! That's the vibe, you give yourself something to kind of lean on? You know what, let's get, let's get some hair. Yeah. Hey Jay, I can push you in the chair. Ooh. I would say this is what we're gonna be like when we're old and gray, but you're already old and gray. I'm gray, like literally gray. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Whoa! Okay, final thoughts, the turbo jets. Kind of a vibe. I would say like 7.9. Actually, these are for kids. What am I saying? If you're uh, like between the ages of 15 and nine, I would say these are a nine to you. To me, they're like a 7.5, which is still pretty good considering. To yeah. Jay, they'd be, actually to Jay, they're like a 10 because I can push him in the wheelchair with this. So that really adds value to them. I feel yeah. like if you were nine, you weighed like 70 pounds, you would just you're be flying. like, boom. Like, these are struggling to take my weight. That's the only thing. Well, not really. Fine. You see the turns, the donuts, baby. I'm getting weird. Come on. Oh, baby. Jay knows how much I love these. It's a massager pain reliever. Sometimes in order to relieve pain, you have to inflict pain. You should know that you're old. Well, they give you a whole bunch of locations you can put it on your body. Really? Put it at 18? I don't know if I put it there. What? You can guess where. Let's do my forearms. Neck. Neck's a good one. Everyone's got some tightness in their neck. I feel like I should have put this on my neck. These little small ones. I put like this big ass, huge, full, neck roll one. Wow, it hurts just putting it on my neck. Should I try putting it somewhere else? 
We'll do the classic, you know? If it hurts, at least it'll be- Oh, 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 oh. I felt something just now. This was just touching my skin. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Oh shit, oh shit. Turn it down, turn it down, turn it down. Okay. Give me abs. Kind of gentle right now. I can see this being a vibe. It, it doesn't electrocute you as much. It's just like a little vibration. Fuck no. <laughs> oh my God, I'm on two. This would feel sick on your back. Like it just feels weird on my stomach. Ah! There's too many nerve endings in your fingers. Off, off, off. Holy hell. Ah, these ones, there's a reason they're, they're big. They don't go on. Okay, low back, I bet you would slap. It's a little vibration, you know? No, I'm on one. It's like pretty strong. This shit on max would you up. That's kind of a vibe. I might just leave this on for a little bit. Just catch a little, little lower back massage, release some tension, you know? I don't know if it's actually doing anything. It's not bad. The other one is like, it hurts. This one, it's yeah. just like vibrating. Overall though, the interface is trash. It's, it's really hard to use. I don't get these things. Personally, I don't see why you would buy them. Maybe there's some way that they relieve pain actually and help out and do something. I'm gonna leave this on for a little bit and we'll see. Next item. A smartphone controlled paper airplane. That's kind of a Oh. Okay. Oh, they even give you instructions how to fold it. Oh my, this is this is quite in depth. Jay's a, he's a paper airplane aficionado. So he's gonna build it. So we take this out. So you attach this and it got a little propeller on it. So it makes your paper airplane go better. I guess you can control your paper airplane. Is that how this works? Damn, that's wavy. Hopefully you don't throw it too far because then you just lose the whole contraption, but it's time to test it out. All right, the paper airplane is complete. I'm just realizing this is very strategically planned out. Look at this nice little rubber tip here to protect the tip of the plane. You always know if you throw a paper airplane, it always gets mosh up when it hits anything. Not anymore. Now, of course, we've got the aerodynamically built plane with all the instructions, got the propeller at the back with a rudder. So hopefully we can control it. And we've got this little interface app here that we're gonna be using to try and steer it a little bit. And I have no idea if it's gonna work at all, but here goes nothing. I hope I don't break this plane. He spent like 30 <laughs> minutes building it. Oh! Ooh. Oh! You see that steering vibe? Oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> Oh my God, that came in hot. The nice thing is though, when it crashes, it doesn't break at all. Like it's, it's chilling. Now it works. Whoa. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we tested out our motorized Bluetooth paper plane. Big dutty vibe. I don't know about you guys, but I used to make paper airplanes all the time as a kid and they never ever worked even close to this well. Just the fact that it doesn't break is a vibe. If you add on the fact that you can steer, it's motorized, it can fly way further. I gotta give this a nice 8.3 out of 10. Next item. All right, we've got the moon lamp. It says 3D printing process. Is this 3D printing the moon? We're getting all kinds of interesting moons. My back is like really vibrating still, just in case you were wondering. Oh, I remember this. Okay, so you gotta get it in like this perfect balance where it's far enough away. Please put the pedestal on the table. The table has to be flat and horizontally leveled. The next step is to connect the power adapter. What's weirding me out is why does it have figure three, four, and five? Where's figures one and two? It's like twitching and shit. What does it mean gently dial the suspe- What is this? 15 to 20 millimeters. How late, how, what is that? How big is a millimeter? This makes, I, I don't get it. You, 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 you. Let's switch. Let me show you it's on. Wait, are these two, do you have to attach these together? Um. John? What the? How, what? <laughs> How'd you do it? Bye, I got it. I got it. <laughs> okay, as you can see, we got a little moon lamp spinning around and stuff. Pulsating, which is kind of cool. Oh, you can change it. Now it's all just, it's just staying in one color. It's really quite miraculous. Um, you guys have seen this stuff before. I, I've done a video on this before. I got like a glow. Basically, there's a magnetic force that's pulling it equally so that it keeps it suspended in midair and then allows it to rotate in this case. And you get a cool little lamp. That probably doesn't light up anything. Look, there's barely any light coming from it. I'm giving this a 
5 out of 10. Next item. Next up, we've got lazy readers. Read at a 90 degree angle. Why would I need that? Oh, that's kind of a vibe. Yo, okay, you know, you ever read in a book and then you have to hold it like this and it's like a big pain? You just want to hold it like this. Well, with these glasses, you could hold it like this and read. There's just like mirrors in here aiming down at the ground. And then, you know, I got this right here. I can read it. It says, your satisfaction is our unremitting pursuit. Please note these glasses are to be used for short periods of reading only. Please remove the glass before falling asleep. Okay, to be honest, I get why they say short periods only because it hurts your eyes. Yeah, there's like some weird sensation I'm getting in the front of my forehead. It's it's very uncomfortable to be honest, but it is kind of cool. They feel pretty decent quality. They're, they're pretty thick and sturdy. It's an interesting piece of tech. All right, our next item is the wireless sports headwear. So it's basically a headband that you could, you know, go for a little jog, do a little whatever it is you do, and you can listen to some tunes. You can't do with regular headphones that you just would slide in here and would fit perfectly into your ears, even if there was something over top of them. Not at all. You could definitely not do that. So you would need something like this, okay? I look good, thank you. Yeah, I would never wear this for, for a variety of reasons. Oh, wow, music in my ears. <laughs> Wow, thrilling. Really made my run so much better. It's, a, it's a, like, it's kind of, I don't know. Like, I feel like if you're a mom, you would like this. You know what I mean? That's probably offensive to moms. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I didn't mean to, that was, that was rude of me. I'm sorry. There's so many better options out there, but this is cheap. And maybe you wanted a headband. So you were like, cool, I'm gonna get a headband anyways. Oh, and it has music, great. But in reality, if you just like enjoy wearing a headband or a hat, you could easily just pop your AirPods underneath or any other form of cheap ear, ear pods and it would work better than this. So I, I can't really get behind this as a useful piece of tech, but it, it's still kind of cool. And I, I like, uh, there's not much I like about it. I'll be, I'll be real with you guys. I'm going to give it a, a four out of 10. That's what it's going to be. It's a four out of 10. Next item. What do we have here? Colorful LED beauty mask. Oh my God. This is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. This is a LED beauty mask? No, 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 no. What? All right, we're get, we, we did one recently. If you guys remember, I destroyed it. Maybe this will do a little bit better. It's definitely a little more interesting, but I think it's essentially the same kind of idea. And this one is just also doubles as a good Halloween costume. All righty, folks. I bet you didn't expect to see this today. <laughs> Oh, I am scared. There's a lot of like pressure in the eye area. It's like pushing down on my eyes. Holy hell, I look like a, a 2020 Jabberwocky. If it's what you make it, I feel like a maze. I can't see a way out. Ow, it's like pressing on my eyes. This part is not ergonomic. Oh, well, um, we already did this before and the experience was a lot better. I fell asleep that time. I can tell you confidently I would not fall asleep with this on. I think I would just make other people never be able to fall asleep again. For that reason, this is getting a three. Next item. This is our final item of the day. And this I've heard of before and I'm actually pretty amped to get it because I need it. This is the tile. Have you heard of the tile? But it's supposed to be attached to your key. I think this one, there's a little hole right here. I think there's ones that you can stick onto items but you could also put it in like your purse or something like that. And essentially it allows you to find your purse or your whatever the item is it's attached to. By using your phone, you set up an app and then if you lose something, you can look for it or you can set off a little beep tone or something like that so you can find it. Very interesting. Well, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm, I'm not gonna, you guys have probably seen it before. If you guys wanna see it, go search a tile video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you wanna see us buy more cool tech off Amazon, be sure to smash the like button and we will come back with another one very soon for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Toodles.